Ça va Hi, Jeff. Comment ça va How are you? Not too bad. So, um, you know, what are your ideas about 19? And is there anything specific to Pesac Lyonion or Smith for the vintage? For me, 2019 is the last vintage, last easy vintage we did. No frost, no ale, no mildew. So it was a, vine in, uh, a ver the very good year for the vineyard because easy to do, no big uh, problem to manage. And after it's a bit, uh, <clears throat> as you say, as um, 15, a bit uh, a warm vintage, warmer compared to brush. So this uh, good and high temperature helps us very well for the ripeness and especially for the creaminess in the wine. So you have yeah. wine very creamy, very soft, very warm. And uh, compared to 15, because they are quite close, uh, you have a bit more freshness in 16. And it was a bit my surprise when I go back uh, in December testing the 19 with uh, the other journalist. And I, mm -hmm. I was surprised of the freshness in the white and in the red in bottle because I cannot remember that in my mind. And um, after I go back to my, to my data and I saw that uh, we had the average temperatures are <coughs> higher compared to the Last year, the average of the last years, uh, it was higher in August and September, but we keep very cool night, especially in September. So it helps to preserve acidity. And it's for that you have a bit more acidity compared to 15, but for me with the same density and the same creaminess, the same smoothness. So it gives perhaps a, a bit of more, more borderless style uh, in 19 compared to 15, but they have yeah. both very strict. Very exciting vintage. I like what you say because some people try to say it's like 16, but I find no. it more like 15 because also you taste it and you want to drink it. You can drink it. Sure, 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 sure. Just like 15. <laughs> 15 is I still drink now. They're so drink. good. Yeah. Right. No, 16, 16, you know, the level of acidity is higher and the shape yeah. of tannin is not the same. 16 You're and tannin right. are a bit Right, a bit more uh, serious, not not up, not, not sharp, not not straight, yeah. but denser and straighter. Nineteen is it's a poesy, a big yeah. poesy. It's round, it's soft, it's lovely. Now it's very seductive for me. It's a, is in the same way as, as fifteen, a bit so far, not close to nine, which are quite. A bit exotic vintage for Bordeaux with very many selectivity and and roundness, creaminess. Um, yeah, it's very very approachable vintage. It's so funny. I, uh, in so many of the wines, I put creamy texture. It, yep. Even your first, even the blancs, the white and the red are creamy. Yep. Yep. Yeah, for me, it's really the signature of this vintage nineteen is the creaminess. The smoothness, something very lovely, which come to to touch your mouth with the softness and with the, uh, with something I like very much. So this, yes, the creaminess. I don't know how to say that by a different word, but yeah. it's very sensitive for me. And what is incredible is that when you test Smith at the beginning, you begin with something very easy, very creamy, very comfortable, and after in a certain way, you say, "Oh, what's happened?" and the body, the structure, the concentration come. And so you have, at the beginning, the, something very soft and round, and after you have the pour of the wine, and all is mixed for a long, 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 long mass. And this shape of, this shape, <coughs> this shape of, of mice of mouth for me are very incredible, and I like it. I agree. Because also, if you just taste it once, you can be, um, you can actually miss the wine. Because you taste yeah. and you go, it's creamy, and then, yeah. and then you just taste it, or drink it, and then you're like, oh, what a nice wine. And But then if you taste again, then you go, hold on, and then the finish comes with the yeah. with the tannins yeah. at the end. Yeah. And at the end, uh, at, at, the, at the moment, uh, at this moment, <clears throat> you can see the body, the concentration, because it could be, a, it could, you could feel it a bit medium body at the beginning and, so, and seductive just, but after you have the full body coming, the tannin and the lens. So it, it was a, it was surprising, but, uh, but it is like that, and so when you chew it a bit more, you have really a big wine, but you always keep the, the smoothness, the roundness, yeah. but with a bit concentration, so the, the, the wine is built to age well, and it's 
because it's creamy, it's very easy to taste to the tube. So it's I totally agree. Or incredible vintage. <laughs> totally. It's less demonstrative at 18, 18 was very more a bit more dance, a bit more active. On the like attack, that. yeah. Flamboyant. It can very slowly like that and it open and give you many, yeah. many So it's very different kind of shape of wine, but um, I, I, today I love better 19 compared to 18, but we'll see in five or 10 years. Yeah, I agree. I'm with you. you basically, um, I, you know, what you said is like you were tasting with me for the last uh, month because that's totally my impression. What, mm. Tell me about the whites, the dry whites. Uh, yours were actually really fresh and... Mm. Um, And also they weren't heavy and they weren't very full body. They're more like medium to full body, creamy texture. Were you happy with the dry whites in 19? Yes. I think it's more a red vintage compared to the white vintage. Mm -hmm. so I mean that. But I was happy with the, with the white because as I said before, 19 had a very warm uh, August and I was a bit uh, afraid to miss acidity. And for that, we put in... Early the harvest, 27 of August, we began the whites, and I was afraid I still to, to miss acidity, so I began quite early, and I did some pluck, and after I reused the rind, and I go very slowly, because in fact, I had the more acidity in the grapes than I could imagine, so probably oh. because of the, of the night, so I, it, I took three weeks to pick the whites, step by step, just in the morning, uh, picking some lot at the beginning to keep the freshness, to have enough acidity, and waiting to have more body to the end. So cool. the wine is really in a building way with acidity at the beginning and more body at the end. And it's for that we are, we are able to have a, a mix with um, a good acidity and a medium to medium to big body, but with always the creaminess of the vintage. So uh, the building of the wine was was lovely. We have, more, we have an aromatic, which is more for odd vintage, Odd, odd uh, way vintage, I mean, uh, mm -hmm. yellow fruits, uh, yellow flowers, something quite yeah. rich. In the, it's not the fresh citrus aromas we could have in some vintage of Smith Levitt. It's more, it's ripe aromas with peach, with um, mango, with things like that. And, um, yeah. but a warm style in the aromas, but you have acidity to keep the freshness and you still have the creaminess you, you spoke about. In the red, so it's a it's a very interesting species of it white. Uh, What about the uh, the Smith Olafite red? I found it was very uh, special in a good sense, not the French sense, uh, where it was really like this ball, like this cylinder of fruit. I I tasted it <laughs> when we missed the Zoom. I haven't tasted it today, but I just want it, and it still sticks out in my mind. It, it has a, I don't think I've tasted a Smith with that. It's, it was like more Poyak than Pesach with graphite, lead pencil. Like what is, what happened? Am I wrong? It's really special character in a really good sense. And it's just like this compacted cylinder of fruit. Yeah. Perhaps because we, we were able to find the perfect point of ripeness in the yeah, vineyard. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, the Cabernet or... Yeah, yeah, we have, we have a large part of Cabernet. And 19, the Cabernet works very well. As I said, we have no, no mildew, no ale, no, no frost, so we have no problem in the, in the vineyards. So we were able to take care of the vineyard very well and to push the, the grapes to the full ripeness, but not overripe. Really on the good, yeah. on the, on the good point of the ripeness. And uh, we had a very lovely ripeness, so we were able to extract. So... The grapes, I remember, was very fruity, perhaps more fruity compared to 2020. But um, it, we I tried to, to take this fruity from the grapes in the wine. So we did extraction, of course. We, we were able to extract quite deeply because the ripeness was full. But um, as you know, we, we extract now with more softer way, not, yeah. not, too, uh, not too much activity, more infusion compared to, to, um, to the density, to extractability by action. And... Um, We, we still use a part of stem in 19. So all the things help ah. the and the mouse. So it gives, a, as you called before, a cylinder, a full body with all the aromas inside. And you have a very yeah. lovely 
me with a with a rough it, just with a spin stone, with all this black kind of thing we could find in our hotel. What's the ripeness is very okay. So exactly, I'm happy with this uh, this vintage. I like it very much. And, uh, it's for me a very pleasure to, to taste it. Sometimes you have to wait a bit to have the pleasure coming, but for 19 is uh, immediate. The, the one to taste it against is the 15. Sorry? The one, the vintage to taste against the 19 is 15. Yeah, to sure. See it, right? Yeah. I'm sure that uh, 19 is 15 with something more, in fact. More in yeah. the... For, for us, for Smith fit more in the concentration of tannin, more in the body, and a bit more in the freshness. So we give uh, the the creaminess, the accessibility, the seductive part of 15 with a bit more body and freshness. I agree. Okay, well, listen, have a bon weekend. Ciao, merci. Félicitations pour le vin.